Hi and welcome to another video from 101hacker.com. Today we will continue our wireless hacking series. In this video we will have a look at the wireless standards, bands and channels. So let's start off with the IEEE standards. IEEE stands for Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. So they are a group of students, engineers and scientists that work for the development of technology. To get more info about it, you can just go to Wikipedia. I've just added the link in the slide. So, so these uh, IEEE standards are numbered, and the one that we are interested in is the 802 standard, uh, which works on local area networks and metropolitan area networks. So they are kind of subdivided and numbered. So, for example, 802.1 stands for bridging and management. 800 and 2.2 stands for logical link control and so on. So the one that we are interested in is the 802.11, which is wireless LAN or WLAN. So 802.11 stands for WLAN. So the 802.11 um, standard is actually kind of subdivided. I mean, you can see that 802.11 A, B, G, N, and so on. So these are uh, commonly referred as bands. So you can see that uh, A has been released in 1999, B in 1999, G uh, released in 2003, N released in 2009, and so on. So the so these bands um, operates on different frequencies. For example, the A um, operates on the 5 gigahertz frequency, B G uh, operate on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, the N band. Uh, Operates on the 2.4 and also the 5 GHz frequency, and you can see the differences. Basically, the transfer rates. So A trans supports up to 54 Mbps. The B band supports up to 11 Mbps. G supports up to 54 Mbps. N supports up to 600 Mbps. And you can also see the other differences. Basically, the range, typical indoor and outdoor range. You can just have a look from the picture so the important standards that you need to note here is the BGN they are the one that are currently used N is the future it is recently implemented and most uh, devices don't support it uh, so B and G are the most commonly used bands so to get more info about uh, the 802.11 standards you can just go to Wikipedia or just go to IEEE.org and download this uh, uh, manual so this is actually a 3000 page booklet uh, you can use this uh, booklet as a reference guide when you have some doubts with the um, abbreviation and all those standards and stuff like that so i highly recommend you to go and have a look at the wikipedia link as well as go and download this uh, 802.11 manual from the IEEE.org website so there are actually so in the 2.4 GHz frequency, there are 14 channels and they are spaced 5 MHz apart with the exception of 12 MHz spacing before channel 14. So you can see from the picture that there are 14 channels. Uh, channel 1 starts at 2.412 frequency, I mean GHz frequency. 2 starts at 2.417 and uh, 3 starts at 2.422 and so on up to 2.484. And each channel is actually spaced 5 MHz apart and the channel width uh, is 22 MHz. So from this picture you can clearly see that channel 1, 6 and 11 are not overlapping. So that brings us to the question for this week. So we saw that there are 14 channels in the 2.4 GHz frequency that has been used by the PNG but N uses both 2.4 as well as the 5 GHz frequency. So the question for this week is how many channels are there in the 5 gigahertz frequency and how many channels in the 5 gigahertz frequency do not overlap so if you know the answer please post the answer in the comment section so the next slide is about country regulations each country has its own set of rules uh, in the allowed like uh, allowed channels and power levels that you can use so for example the north america countries support up to channel 11 uh, but however in Japan you can see that it supports up to channel 14 and uh, to get um, to know more about your country regulations you can just do a Google search so it's now time 
uh, time for some demo so like in this demo I'll just show you how to go and check supported bands channels how to go and bypass these country regulations and then how to go and switch channels and also how to increase your TX power so what I've done is I've just logged into my Kali box and I've attached uh, my wireless uh, card basically the alpha card so do an IW config okay, you can see the interfaces WLAN 0 here so do on WLAN 0 I can see it supports both P and G band and uh, the current uh, TX power is 27 so if I try to put it on channel 1 I'll be able to do that uh, you can do an IW config help for the options so you can do an IW interface and then channel and the channel number to switch your channel so I'll put the card in channel 10 for now WLAN 0 channel 10 and I was able to do that so do an IW config you can see it's on 2.457 which is basically channel 10 so if I try to put it on channel 14 I'll not be able to do that I'll just show you that's because of the country regulation that I'm currently set to so country regulation that I'm currently set to is basically US I can just have a look there by doing IW reg get so current country regulation that I've been set to is US and you can see the supported frequencies the bandwidth the TX power you can also do an IW list or IW your physical ID and your and info to get uh, supported bands frequencies of your wireless card so you can see here clearly that it supports up to 11 uh, channels and the maximum power is 27 so if I try to do I mean, increase the power which I will look at the command for increasing the power TX power and then the power so I'll do an IW config WLAN 0 TX power and put it to 25 I'll be able to do that because it supports up to 27 and if I try to increase about 27 I'll not be able to do that see for example I'll just do 28 no I'm not able to do that so the easy way to go and bypass uh, these country regulations is to go and switch your country regulation to a country that is very lenient so for example uh, you country uh, US country supports up to channel 11 but um, we can go and set a our country regulation to a country that supports up to channel 14 for example Japan supports up to channel 14 and to do change your ch country regulation you can just do an IW reg and then set your country regulation um, code uh, so this is if you don't know your country regulation code you can just do uh, an ISO IEC 3166 alpha 2 uh, you can just go and uh, search Google for this codes so I know the code for Japan which is IW reg uh, set and then JP for the Japan so if I do an IW get I can see that I've changed my country regulation to Japan which supports up to 14 um, channels and a maximum of 20 dBm power to do that I'll just do an IW list Let's say less you see it supports um, all the 14 channels and the maximum power is 20 dBm so if now if I go and change the channel to IW I'll be able to do that so for the IW config can see the car uh, frequency set now is 2.484 is nothing but channel 14 same way for TX power so Japan supports a maximum TX power of 20 so as far as I know Bolivia supports channel power up to 30 um, dBm which is almost 10 times more than what Japan supports so to change to Bolivia I'll do an IW reg 
set bo that's the two letter code for bolivia go to an iw get i will see that the control regulation is being switched to bolivia you can confirm it by doing iw list and that's so you can see bolivia supports 30 dbm uh, power up to 30 dbm power and it supports up to channel 13 so what i can do is iw config line zero tx power and put it to 30. so there's a slight problem this is usually because the um, card is up you can uh, do it by putting the card i mean bringing the card down uh, just put the card to sleep more then again i'll just put uh, bring the card up i mean i'll change the country code to bolivia right now so first now i'll bring iw reg set bolivia and you can see it's changed to bolivia now we just bring the card back up iw config sorry if config uh, double and zero up and the card is up now if i do an iw config you can see wlan zero is up mm. I config is up and you can see it, it supports up to 30 dbm right now because we've changed our country to bolivia you can just uh, switch your channels by doing iw config wlan zero channel 14 Mm, sorry channel 13 because it uh, doesn't support channel 14 you can just put a power up to say tx power from say 20 uh, it supports 20 now it supports also 30 so you can do an iw config and you can see power is 30 dbm so this is how you'll go and bypass uh, control regulations so things that we learned from this video uh, is uh, WLAN operates in different frequencies like the 2.4, 5 and so on. These frequencies are divided into channels and each country has its own regulations like it allows uh, particular channels and power but we learned that these regulations can easily be bypassed uh, by just switching to a country regulation with lenient uh, regulations. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any doubts, uh, comments or suggestions, uh, you can just mail me to john at 101hacker.com or just comment below. I hope um, you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.